Miguel certainly has some of that famous Latin stamina. I'm quite exhausted. We underestimated Catalina's plans for Spank. It reaches far beyond the Yardies selling it on the street corners. The cartel have a front company, the Kappa Coffee House. They've been selling Spank through the street stalls. We have no choice but to put these drug stands out of operation. Smash ah. them to splinters! Ah. A travesty. I work miracles, senor. Not pimping. I say, I give the passion back. And you better watch yourself, buddy. Because for my people, we take these insults very personally. And then, you no longer Mr. Talk Show. You Mr. Who Cut Up My Tongue. Who are your people anyway? I, uh, which exotic location do you come from? I am... I am Latin. <laughs> Latin is a big place there, buddy. W we're in Latin. I do not need to listen to these insults. I have pride. I have a calling. Many are called, but few are chosen, my friend. And I was called and chosen to work at Children, if your husband, if your daddy, if he not happy, send him to me, Fernando. In exchange for a few hours a week, I give you the world. Get off, get lost. You're just a cheap pimp from upstate. Get out of my studio. I save your daddy. I save your husband. It is a miracle. Get out of here. It's a miracle. Would you like a kitten? Have one delivered. Just log on to PetsOvernight.com and we'll send you a cute kitten overnight. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. And now it's time for a public service announcement from station owner Donald Love. Hello, my name is Donald Love. You're listening to a Love Media Station. Enjoy. All right, we're back here on Chatterbox, the radio show that never gets old. I'm laughing. Spank is the only way to teach them right from wrong. So, kids at an early age that violence is the solution to problems will make them valuable members of our society. Exactly. I knew you'd understand, Laszlo. My daddy used to whoop the tar out of me. He won't hit me so hard, my spleen fell out of my ear. Didn't do me no harm. Look at me now, I'm the best pest control. <laughs> what are you talking about? Man, I'm starting to believe that guy about the fluoride in the drinking water. Listen, if there's any sane... I got a better car than you. Please, call the show right now. This is an SOS going... Yeah. Migration north continues. Years? Did you want to become a bee stepper? I don't. That's why we must act now. Killer bees must be stopped. I wonder why more. Can't kill them. They're like sheep. They're going to take over. All right. Thanks, caller. Ants, killer bees, fat people. What's plaguing you? Call now. Uh, yes. I'd like to say something about these damn people on trains and buses in the city who yammer on and on into their cell phones. I'm really glad we get to hear about what you're having for dinner. What we should do is herd them up and put them on an island. I am the president of a group called Citizens Raging Against Phones. Crap? Exactly. Your organization's called Crap. What, what kind of moron are you? you? You want to round people up for using a phone? But you're, you're calling up on a phone to, to tell the world about it. I mean, but how many people are there in this crap? Citizens are raging against phones, Laszlo. How many people? There are three of us. It's hard organizing meetings without the phone, though. We've had to resort to carrier pigeons, and they keep disappearing. What are you speaking to me on? What's, it, what's that in your hand? I am not the problem. You are, and you're perpetuating the downfall of mankind. 
Liberty City was great before phones ruined everything. Liberty City was a church, a cow pasture, and three houses when the telephone was invented. Liar! You're the liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. What are you, are you, are you three years old? Lazo's a liar, Lazo's a liar. I bet that isn't even your real name. Shut up. You shut up. Stupid. Nanny, nanny, boo boo, put your head in the No, we're going to commercials. Is your job affecting your health? Do you become fatigued? Does working take time away? an easy solution. Sue your boss. See, the great thing about this country is you can sue anyone for pretty much anything, and you'll probably win. As our personal injury attorneys, we can show you how falling down and howling like a sissy can result in a large damage award from your employer. We also specialize in awards for injuries suffered in auto, bus, and train accidents, and can even train you to throw yourself in front of a bus and pretend to be injured. Hey, that's why they pay for insurance. Call the law offices of Rakin and Ponser and get ready to enjoy a... Chatterline here. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Laszlo, I just wanted to make your viewers aware that... Okay, now, this is a radio show. We don't have viewers. We have listeners. Uh, okay. Anyway, Laszlo, I just wanted to make your viewers aware the first international puppetry festival is next month at the fairgrounds, bro. If you're interested in becoming a puppet master or a ventriloquist, you should definitely come down, dude. It's going to be totally killer. I wasn't aware that there was much demand for puppet shows these days. And... Oh, man. Have you been living under a rock, bro? Guys with puppets get chicks. I take my monkey puppet to the park all the time. We play hacky sack together and... devices you win on who has and they paid us in stacks of old groats and gold guineas we'll be back after this do you live in the boring suburbs but dream of living in a lonely castle on a windswept moor do you long to trade in your sweatsuit for a hundred pound suit of armor and swap your suv for a noble stallion do you eat microwave dinners all the while wishing you Ready to delight you with tales of the Black Death, witch burnings, and the joys of being a feudal serf. Forget about air conditioning and modern medicine. We've got all the leeches, spells, and potions you need at the Medieval Millennium Fair. Learn the art of cooking with turnips. Yum yum. Buy genuine reproduction medieval artifacts, including maces, double handed battle swords, and one size fits all chainmail. And this weekend only, pick up an authentic. your garden pond or swimming pool. And learn how to rid your condo of vermin using a penny whistle and a mysterious prancing German named Hans. The Medieval Millennium Fair, every weekend at Liberty City Park. All right, Liberty City, you are listening to Chatterbox, the show that is the number one reason for the success of the internet. All right, let's take a call. Who's on the line? Close. W what about them? Close. Why don't you like clothes? I just hate them. They're so constricting. I mean, there's a line where clothes, and the line is the king of the jungle. So why can't I humble? Or it can exercise its royal prerogative to not wear clothes, and two, it's a cat, and therefore it doesn't have to, and three, I mean, now that I think about it, Cut you off. Don't you believe in free speech? In free expression? No, of course you don't. All you believe in is free drinks. I'm naked and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. DK, 
you prance about like a ninny waiting for your privates to go blue? I was born naked, I'm gonna die naked. <laughs> and all shriveled. Uh, look, is this leading anywhere? Because I mean, we've got a lot of other people waiting to talk about real things here. Real, open your eyes, take off your pants, come on. Come on, Laswell, you can be a figurehead for Liberty City Naturist. We have more members now for the first time since 1977. Nudity is back. A lot of people are into nudity and really understand the spiritual side. What? I'm hanging out with loads of naked chicks? I mean, I see the fun in it, but I just think clothes have distinct advantages, like like not accidentally cooking yourself, or, or when you're working on a building. We're not swingers. It's not about sex. It's about being one with the world. All right, dude. Groovy. Hug a rainbow. It's time for a public service announcement from Donald Love. Hello, I'm Donald Love. Under my guidance, Love Media has emerged as the fastest-growing U.S.-run media conglomerate of the past five years. With newspapers, television, and radio stations across a wide array of industrial and technology interests, we at Love Media ensure you get the truth behind the story every time. From films to dog food, from radio to pop music, you can be sure of independent, quality-led broadcasting every time you tune in. Dad, Pee-wee. Who do you think you are? Short people are people, too. All right, another award-winning show on Chatterbox. Today we're talking about anything, it seems. Chatterbox. Yeah, I love the show. Love hearing people think. That's what made this country great. People, opinions, and stuff. Most of all, guns. I had a when people whine about guns kill people. Guns don't kill people. Death kills people. Ask a doctor. It's a medical fact. You can't die from bullets. Get off. I ain't hurt nobody. And countries that don't have guns ain't America. Y you know, that's a really good point. Countries that don't have guns aren't America. You know, if more people had guns, we'd have less shootings in this country. <sighs> All right, we're going over here to line two. Hello, caller. You are on Chatterbox. Yeah, I'd like to say something about taxes. You mean the Lone Star State? Oh, taxes. Well, you know, look, taxes are really wrong. My father worked his whole life. He played the lottery. And now the state wants to pay taxes on the money he wins from that stuff? Buy your own lottery ticket, you know? Hey. Good. Oh, really? How do you like it? I mean, is it hard to get used to the language? You, you speak English pretty good. Oh, thank you, Lando. Yes, yes, I, I do like it. There's one thing, though, that's, that's very different, it's rather worrying. When I was a boy in England, I had a nanny. She was very sick, that one. Yeah, well, I mean, there's excellent... Transcribed in Braille to a ch-
Remember, it's not a conflict of interest if we own all the radio stations in town. We'll be right back after this message. In today's fast-paced world, a split second can be the difference between achieving your dreams... Hey, I just won the Nobel Peace Prize! ...and not. Oh, wonder if wrestling's on to that. More Americans are realizing if you don't have the latest and greatest technological devices, you will fall behind. I didn't upgrade my personal organizer, and two days later... Get out of my car, man. 